Tom Hanks led the stars at the 2022 Cannes Film Festival in France. The Oscar-winning actor takes on the role of the King's manager, Colonel Tom Parker, in Elvis. During the film festival, Hanks posed for pictures alongside Elvis Presley's ex-wife Priscilla Presley. The 65-year-old actor was joined by Disney star Austin Butler, who takes on the Elvis role in the unreleased film. Olivia de Jong plays Butler's on-screen wife, Priscilla Presley. Elvis hits theaters on June 24 before making its HBO Max debut in August. Butler was hospitalized the day after rapping the Baz Luhrmann's music biopic. The actor told GQ magazine that he caught a virus which simulated appendicitis and was bedridden for a week. The day, after filming wrapped. I woke up at four in the morning with excruciating pain, and I was rushed to hospital, Butler told the outlet. My body just started shutting down the day after I finished, Elvis. Hanks recently made headlines when he photobombed a bride on her wedding day in March. The Forrest Gump star joined in on a bridal party's photoshoot outside the Fairmont Hotel in Pittsburgh. Grace Gwaltney, the bride, revealed she was shocked to see Hanks. Gwaltney told KCRA, he was like, hey, I am Tom Hanks. I would love to get a photo with you, and I immediately froze and was just looking around. I didn't know what to do. The bride's wedding photographer, Rachel Rowland, also detailed the encounter to KCRA. We all lost it, Roland said. The bridesmaids shuffled out of the limo, and he posed with photos and congratulated everyone. And then as fast as he popped in, he was gone. It was just so sweet and fun. Hanks was in Pittsburgh filming his movie, A Man Called Otto. The Sony production has a Christmas Day release date. Hanks' latest film is a remake of the original 2015 Swedish film that highlights a retired man who strikes up an unlikely friendship with his eccentric new neighbors. The original Swedish film adaptation was nominated for two Academy Awards and was the highest-grossing foreign film of 2016 in the United States.